you want to go around and loosen the lug nuts and the security key before you jack the vehicle up. And your lug nuts are a 21 millimeter to get the rim off to get to the pads and the rotor. 2004 Mazda RX-8. We're changing the brake pads and rotors. You're going to want to secure the vehicle, jack it up at the jack points, make sure it's in gear, e-brakes pulled. So we'll be changing the pads here, the rotor there, on both sides. The bolts for the caliper are 14. And I took this one out right there. After you loosen this one, you take the bottom one out the whole ways. And you get a pry bar and you can pry up. And take the uh, pads off. Just pull out. Same with the back side. You can let the caliper back down. You're going to want to check for even wear to make sure the hardware and pins on the caliper are working properly and there's no unevenness in the pads. And then to reinstall the brake pads, just clean everything up. You're going to want to push the piston in. So you can use a disc pad spreader or you can put the brake pad up in the caliper. And if you don't have any of those, you can use a big pry bar and stick it down through the hole and just pry against the brake pad against the piston until it's flush. And do it slowly. You don't want to do it fast. And try to make sure you're holding the caliper straight so you don't ruin any of the uh, hardware. And make sure that the slider pins and everything are free and they're able to move back and forth and slide easy. Now to get the rotor off, you gotta take the caliper bracket off. And to do that, there are two 17 millimeter bolts, one right there and one right here at the bottom. You take these off. And make sure you get a bungee strap or a zip tie because you do not want to hang it from the brake line. And just put it somewhere out of the way so you can get to the rotor. After you got the caliper off, you can now work on getting the rotor off. Usually there's a retainer screw on here, but there wasn't one on this one. To get to that, you need a real big slotted screwdriver or an impact screwdriver. And this is a 3 8 by 8 inch. That'll help take that out. And then you can pull the rotor off and clean up everything around the hub and then put it all back together in reverse order and torque down your lug nuts and go to the other side and finish and you're done.